in this particular case, I'm using the Glide library for my UI. So I want to show you that real briefly. So Glide basically is very similar to XAML. If you've ever seen XAML, you're, you're going to get Glide right away. One of the advantages that Glide gives you is they provide this designer. There isn't any design view for XAML inside of Visual Studio for the WPF subset that works in .NET Micro Framework. So if you're used to a design surface, you're not going to be very happy with WPF in, in that environment. It's not hard to do the XAML, but what this allows you to do is, for example, I've dragged out a button onto the page, I've changed the name of the button or the, the, the caption of the button to save and send. And then once I've designed a UI that I'm happy with, I can simply go in here and say window show XML, copy this, and I can copy this and put it into a resource file inside my project and then load the XML from that file into the window. And I'll show you the code, where that code, what that code looks like here in just a second. So I've got my uh, application running. Uh, let me see if I can actually this to focus a little better. So you can actually you can see that's push you were here 0.05. And that's almost there. Actually focus this better. Message box. Yeah, so one of the things that Glide gives you that's really nice is support for message boxes. Yeah. Alright. So in a network down message, so basically I've got event handlers that tell me when the network is down and up. So my network's up. First thing I've got here is I've got a text box for my email. I've pre-populated it just to make this easier, but if I tap on the, on the text box, Glide also has a built-in touch keyboard. So rather than having to code that up yourself, Glide gives you a lot of that extra work already done. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start, and it's going to fire up the camera and start streaming bitmaps for me. And you can see I've got the code camp overlay up there in the corner, and uh, if I Get this. What is that camera? Uh, the camera's right here in my hand. Um, I, I don't have it mounted to the board. Are you trying to photo <laughs> on me? Alright, let me see if I can see the picture here. You. <laughs> Alright, now theoretically, I should hit a breakpoint in my code. Actually hit that breakpoint. Oh. Here, right, here, here we go. go. So I hit my breakpoint. So basically this is where I've got an object called SDFS, which is my mounted SD card. So I can write a file called mybitmap.jpg. Um, I'm going to go ahead and step over that code. <coughs> Andrew, the byte format that comes out is it in JPEG format already, or is it like any? You can save it. Um, any I can form. save it as I can save it as a JPEG, and, and that's what's worked for me. So I'm sort of trial and error on my part. Now, what I'm doing here is. Um, this is the part I have yet to complete. I want to base, base 64 encode this so I can make it an email attachment and send it over SMTP. I don't have the, the whole attachment part working real well, so I'm just dumping it as base 64 into the body of the email. So I'm going to go ahead and encode that, and hopefully that won't take too long. This is one of those things where you do that kind of a conversion on a desktop machine, it's like that. You do it on an embedded processor, it can take a little bit longer, so you need to be prepared for that. Um, I think I already ran, I think I hit F5, so it should just run through at this point. And on my screen, I will get another message box when it's completed. And I'm going to grab my phone because I don't have my mail up. So you use an outside SMTP server or something? So I'm using my own SMTP server and I put my own credentials into it. So um, I have my own domain and whatnot. So, um, all right. So rather than keep you all too long here, I'm just going to show you what this would actually look like. So that's what the email ends up looking like. If I could, there we go. Right? Uh, with the base so, 64. <laughs> so I just basically dumped the base 64 into the email itself. Um, oh, there we go. So it basically says mail sent. And see if I can actually see if we'll actually pull out oh, that. The break point. What's that? Break point ahead. Yeah, you took a little bit. Oh yeah, that's, that's fine. It's just going. I, I think I hit the button twice, so it's trying to do it again. <coughs> so ah, here we go. And right now is when you need to send a rude email to Andrew. Yeah, no sending rude <laughs> emails. I won't show those. All right, so it's taken a while to get here. It did send the email. It works. Um, and once I actually get the encoding done right, you'll be able to pull that up as an image in your email. So that's just one idea of the kind of thing that you can do with this device. Um, 
Hope you all enjoyed that. Was that useful?